Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Married to Medicine Season 5, Episode 10. Let's jump on into it, shall we? Now, Tawanda, you must have made a horrible stick in your life. This divorce must be hitting you hard. He must have took care of your money. I ain't saying you're broken. I'm not saying you're rich neither, but you decide to get your teeth done on national TV. And the way heaven to talk y'all best friends. So, was this a cheap dinner job or a quick fits up or is she giving you a discount? Or is this a um, basically a free promotion for um, Branson Family Values that's coming back? Please let me know because I seen and I said, I know this ain't Tawanda. Now, out of all the sisters, Tawanda... And Tony are my favorite. I like Tracy a little bit. She crazy, but I like Tracy. Tamar, we not going to even must discuss that. I like some of her songs, not all of them. I can deal with Tamar, her and all her dramatics and all her three heads and all her three voices and all her three side effects, though, no, but... Tawanda, you must have made an error somewhere in your life that you was going straight and you had to make a sharp turn a sharp turn and you ended up at Dr. Heavenly's office sitting up there talking about a crown on your teeth. Then you had the audacity that she talking about some she your friend. Y'all didn't act like y'all were very friendly. Well, you did seem like she was doing honey, she was goo goo gaga all over you when you, when she came in there and seen you was in there. So what is this? Free press and promotion? Because I don't see it as no friends. And heaven in the way her mouth is, in the way she operates, in the way she don't give a how she talk to people. Um, Free press in promotion. We going to just leave it like that and we going to move it along. I, I, I hope, um, Tawanda, you ain't broke. And I hope you ain't broken like Tony Branson and you need a financial or bank or um date yourself a bank account or marry yourself a bank account like Tony did. I, I, I'm moving right along. Dr. Jackie, now you did your thing in your little dress. That was a nice little um date you and um what the name? Curtis. Yeah, Curtis had you talking about people looking at you. Nah, I ain't never been to Piedmont Park, a uh, Piedmont Park, whatever Piedmont, whatever park it is. That park is big, open, and many acres. Hell, when they did pan and show the people, people way over there, somebody way over here, somebody way over there. Now, who was staring at you, Dr. Jackie, while you was on this date with Curtis? Who was staring? That's all I want to know. Cause I'm pretty sure as big as that park is and them and them trees, they can't be doing too much damn hot in that big old wild open um park like that. And I guess they told you to say that and you decide to say that you were looking for somebody for you can say they staring. They ain't even much show nobody but the people that was in the park, minding their own business though. But anyways though, the date was cute. He's still trying to get back in Dr. Jackie good graces. Um, she's still worrying about what people say besides worrying about if she want this man still or not. He told her not to worry about that. So he trying. And then he gave her best leave before they got married or when it was married or whatever about this Paris trip. And then he wrote her love letter and offered to give it back to her and um Offered to give it back to her. She said she would love to do this, but she can't cause she not in love with the man that took her to Paris before. She stuck with this one, and I guess and she don't want to forgive him or whatnot, but that would have been a cute little outing, um, Dr. Jackie. You better go on on that trip and enjoy yourself and stop being a part of poo Now, you doing all this time. You got this man on this show, this man that made an ass out of you. You still playing with him. You still hugging him like you love him. He coming to your house, taking you on dates. Dr. Jackie, you better stop playing before you lose him again. And then you, never mind. We must say that about that, Dr. Jackie, I love you. I'm just going to shut my mouth and move on to the next victim. Um, Scott and Contessa, so basically the same backwards from the past, well, from the last two episodes, where the last episode about her and they ain't got enough time, and 
I guess they finally made time to go on a date night dinner and they went out and they talked about they don't get to do this much often. It was nice for them to finally do it and God knows when. Um, they still struggling with the time, time, the time thing and trying to manage three kids and plus she working and he working and without Miss Renee there is hard and now they got the Scratch their stuff even more thinner than they did too before Miss Renee was there. So, Katessa, I want to feel sorry for you about that part, but I can't. Mm -mm. Like, I'm going to say it again. You knew what kind of type of um, crazy you was dealing with when you um, met Miss Renee. You knew she was crazy while and not there. You should have had a back up. -y. So, when something like this happened, all you got to do is say, next one, get in line. And you wouldn't have this problem. I'm glad you working it out. You well, at least trying to work it out. Trying to get it together for you can have more um time with your your husband and date nights and all that. So I'm glad you working it out and trying to get it to get it together. Just go ahead and get you another nanny. One with a mouth not as wide and big as Miss Renee and you'll be better off. This time this time when you get your new nanny, make sure you have a back uppy. So in case it just went freak out or flake out like Miss Renee did, you already got one lined up. Like you got to learn to manage your time. Now you got three kids. I know you are busy. What you is, an OBG? What is she, an OBGYN or a nurse? I don't know what the hell she I know you live a very busy life with your job. Your husband do too, um, Scott. So, manage y'all time. Go ahead and get a nanny on in there. Go ahead and get a backup in case this one's side to run, run, go running away or running the scray when the tough get hard. So, that's all you got to do and you'll be better off. Um... Contessa, and it'll be good for you. Simone, Cecil, and Simone and Cecil in, in this damn app. So, you mad about the 25K that, that he put into this app? You was talking about how much you wanted, how much you was asking for, and how much you were asking for, and you wanted him to go up on the, uh, basically your percentage or what you get or how much you get of the company or whatnot. Now, Simone, how you want percentage of the company or the money that's coming in? Yeah, that's y'all joint money, but like he said, you got to put in more effort into this app. When y'all first brought it up, you weren't interested in it. You talked about it, but you ain't, ain't having any more interest in it no more. Um, he got this man working on it with his out with his partner, and when the man that explained it to you and told you what was going on, then you said, "I'm in now, and I'm good. I'm in. I'm satisfied." And I'm glad they brought up about the safety of the kids. And what about the kids doing this on sexual predators and all this? Make sure you do background checks, double check background checks on people because we don't need y'all getting in no trouble. Somebody kid end up getting killed, shot, or stabbed, or crazy nothing, and hire a little poor kid to do their job. And next thing you notice, they're on the damn news because they use your app and the poor kid end up dead. So just go ahead and double check, cross your eyes, I mean, dot your eyes and cross your T's. and... I kind of like this little app thing, and this it, it's gonna be good for y'all. I know Curtis still um worrying about if he ever get laid off. I know that's a nice little egg he can sit on in case that does happen. So some on in, and that's good. So oh, let's move back along. Um, okay, it's the night of the party. So it's the night of the party. Everybody showed up, even Mariah. They kept asking about Quad. Quad, nope. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the app on out of the way. Quad never showed up. Mariah showed up. Um, all the girls showed up except Quad. Contessa, everybody showed up and um had a good time and. They talked about the app or whatever, and 
quad come busting in there doing the presentation of the of the app with her rude ass. She come busting in there talking about what about the sexual predators? What about protecting the kids? They already didn't cover that. Well, Curtis already covered that. Of course, they was going to bring it back up all over again at this press coming. But everything went good, minus the fight at the end. We going to get to that later. We ain't going to do that right now because that's going to upset my spirit right now. So I got to get through all these other people first. Um, so, um, Simone, Quad, congratulations on your cooking show or your segment on Channel 11, I think they said, or something 11. Good job on that. You can cook your ass off. Don't talk about romance. You might be married and talking about romance and the way to a man's heart is their stomach. You going through it all right now with your husband. So I wouldn't talk about that or talk about no romance right now when you going through the bumpy road of your um, marriage right now. So I hush about that. But you did good and you showed your ass as usual when you cooked. So I was happy to see that. And I was happy to um see that you had the ass this show and you were doing that. You was cooking, talking to the man. You was energetic. You had a lot of energy. You was talking if and all that. I said, Quad got this shit. She did a good job, though. But, Quad, I'm going to have to talk to you again when we get to this end, though. So, you too, um, Toya. Speaking of Toya, I think that's my next stop. Yep, that's my next stop. Toya, now I know you fun of having two houses. I know that was y'all first house before y'all got married, or I think before y'all got married or whenever. Y'all might as well just go ahead and tear down that house and sell the land or something. I mean, y'all got this house. Y'all renting it out, and basically the money y'all getting from the house, it ain't helping y'all none, and it ain't helping y'all with the IRS, so y'all basically making money from the house and handing it back to the house all over. Mm -mm. Sell the house, shit. You might not get what you paid for the house. I wouldn't expect that needed. With the market, with the realty, um, realty, Realtor. With the realtor market now and houses and foreclosed on it, yeah, it ain't, yeah. It, you might want to go ahead and sell that house and just get whatever you can take for it. Or better yet, sell the land and get, I guess, monthly income from the house or whatever. Though, but that's another tax debt that'll be off your arm, um, off of both of y'all credit. So I say do it or redo the house and go ahead and shell out the money and redo the house or sell the house. Maybe you'll get half or ten percent of what you want. I mean, up the ten percent of what you want, but not the whole percent of what. Yeah, y'all in a tough pickle. I mean, I thought y'all was doing good. I thought y'all was on y'all went almost done with the dead. So y'all almost getting rid of one, get done with one dead and another dead brewing and another dead brewing and about to explode on y'all. Y'all better go ahead and sell that house, do something with that house, redo it, rent it up, up the up the rent or do something. Added a, a addition to the house. Y'all better do something because that house and it's eating y'all money in the IRS, taking half between y'all bills and y'all kids and Toya Patron ass and her drinking Patron ass and her expensive ass taste. Sooner or later, one of them wells gonna dry up and I hate to see y'all actually be right here living, living like a normal class citizen right here and not like y'all rich on this show and y'all go ahead and sell that house, do what y'all got to do or whatever because it ain't making no sense. So, Simone and um, Heavily. Now, this is where the shit turns left for me. So, Simone and Heavenly meet up. They taking their kids to school, I think. And Heavenly made a comment that her son was, he was an ugly duck. And uh, he didn't look that cute when he was little because he had them goggle glasses on. And um, Simone took offense to that and told her about it. Said, so what did I call your daughter ugly like that and all that? She ain't have nothing to say then. Even though Laura said, please don't say that. Don't say that. Don't do that. So, basically, I guess it was a setup for Heaven to ask um, Simone since she's going through the ringer right now with her marriage and going through it and 
her marriage not on steady ground anymore. So she want to take over the um couple's trip. Because you know every season they do a couple's trip. So Dr. Heaven to bring it to herself. Since she a relationship expert. She loved to use that shit. And I have yet to see her expert any type of relationship. I heard you doing some stuff with relationship expert. You gonna have to show me more credentials. I'm sorry, Dr. Heaven. With your mouth and your rude ass, I'm... You can tell me how to have a good relationship with my dog, and I'm being dead ass with you. I, I'm sorry with your mouth, your attitude, and your sass. Sooner or later, somebody going to box you, and I think it's going to be Mariah the one that's going to box you because you really tried to deny it. You really, really, really tried it. And I can agree with Simone now. Why in the hell would you want to run a, um, run a couple's um, trip, run a couple's trip, yeah, you and your husband good right now. Yes, you're not going through whatever. But however, Mariah is a part of this group. Hate to say it, but it's true. Mariah is a part of this group. You going to get along with half of the girls. Hell, you got a problem with Toya, but... It ain't a big ass problem. It's a little minor problem. You and Mariah, y'all two tit for tatting each other. And of course, you know you weren't going to invite Mariah. So what the hell you look like running a damn couple's trip? And that's the last thing you need to do. And I don't know why you invited yourself to do that. Time I sent you the relationship. It's, mm -hmm. Okay, heavenly. And I'm with Simone on that. Why the hell would you want to do that? Hell, I would have preferred quad. Hell, toy ass. Hell, um, Simone again. Dr. Jackie by herself. Anybody except you, Heavenly. Your mouth and you being rude and I'm with Toya too. What the hell she look like running sudden for? With her mouth and her attitude and... The way you carry yourself and quick to say your mama, your mama quick and in a hurry. You ain't want to take me on a trip, but you could. I probably have been boxed your ass, gave you a good three piece, and would have told you to call me in the morning with the police and the police report. Because I probably would have made you have a police report on my ass with your mouth. So they talked about this. So it's the. They did this after um, Cesar Amp. They talked about it in. They talked about it in. This is where the shit turned left at that party about the app and about the um at that app party that um who started this shit? Oh yeah, Mariah came in and did speak to Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly fell on top of way and said she came in, she didn't even want to speak to me. Dr. Heavenly, why the hell would that woman speak to you? You just said your mama, your mama at Contessa House, how long ago that was? And now I'm going to come in the room being fake and phone and saying, hey, how you doing, Dr. Hebner? How you doing? No, it don't work like that, sweetheart. It, it do not work like that. We got Dr. Hebner talking to um Quad. I think that was Contessa. We got them, she, she got them talking to her. And um Simone... Mariah, oh, Toya was with um, Heavenly, so they over there talking, and she said they doing too much, and she fell some type of way, and I guess she heard Heavenly big ass mouth, but heard her talking about her, and how she do stuff, and why should I invite her, and why, why would I invite her to the trip, and um, she being rude, she was being shady at me, by all means, Mariah, I don't care what you say. You was rude as fuck inviting that girl to your party. Just to throw in that woman um, party about Toya. You, you hit this award goes to you. Because you a good friend and you a good mother. And you don't talk about my mother. The only person you was talking to was, um, the only person you were talking to about that was, um, Heavenly. Because Heavenly said your mama. This is where um, I'm not picking a side on this. and I, I'm with Mariah. Mariah was all the way right in this one. Heavenly, you just want to start some shit this episode. I mean, it wasn't really that deep. Quads, you worked on my everlasting goddamn nerves too, because 
This wasn't about you. This was about Mariah and um, uh, um, Heavenly and Heavenly big ass mouth and her, your mama, your mama, your mama, your mama, and I can't do this. And then Toya jumped in about being fake and quiet how much she be cordial to Mariah. Toya still in ass up there looking up the word cordial and she read the word and talked about something. Nope, that don't fit quad when it comes to Mariah. So they got in the tour about that. Mariah said she thinks she didn't apologize enough and I don't think she should apologize enough. You ain't, um, Dr. Heavenly feel that, um, she invited her to her house just to be shady. Um, heavily, even though that was free filming, you really didn't have to go to that party. I mean, you should have known it was going to be some shit. You going to Mariah House to a party, a Mother's Day party. That didn't give you no hint or ring a bell in your head like, hmm, a Mother's Day brunch at Mariah House. And me and her just got into it at Contessa House. Now, why would the hell, no. I'm saying it too. No, that don't make no sense. But that should have told you something that you and Mariah ain't got any um, arguments previous before going to this party. And you could have told Mariah, no, I'm not coming to your party because I don't want no shit. You chose to take your ass to that woman party. You chose to sit there and let her shade her. You could have walked out and left. You, I blame you for going to that party. You did not have to go. You chose to went to that party. Yeah, she was being shady. Dr. Heavenly fell on top of when got loud like she usually do. Um, both of y'all helpers do need to apologize to each other. Um, Quads, you could have shut the fuck up about it and talking about, but she did apologize. She did apologize. You didn't accept that. She did apologize. She did apologize. Toya, you should have shut the fuck up too. Cause how um Mariah hit your ass for a season. I don't know why you still so hard on her crotch anyways, but okay. You could have stayed out of it. And it turned into a whole shit show of your mammy and did this come back all over again that you Hit the re hit the re um replay button is heavily never going to change when it comes to heaven and you get into her or you get under her skin. She always got the your mama to throw in your face. It's not going to never change. She said it several times this see this episode. It's not going to stop. She is not changing. I don't give a damn how many times she tried and cried. Talking about, I'm changing. I'm changing. I'm growing. I'm trying. I'm changing. I ain't believing it. Because the way you come out with your mama quick and in a hurry, you ain't changing. So give it up, Dr. Heavenly. Then when Mariah did the right thing and not engage you anymore and decide to leave, Thanks to a friend that Mariah brought with her. Told her, come on, let's go. We don't need this. You don't need to engage in with her. Cause she just, cause she getting loud and showing her behind. I was glad Mariah had a friend there to help her out the door and help her leave. They sitting outside. Simone called, <laughs> some Dr. Simone called heavily a rude bitch or a rude something. Made her ass go downstairs and apologize. Lord, that apology turned into, um, don't talk about my husband, and then Mariah, don't talk about my mama, you is nasty, you talking about my mama, and the shit turned back to World War Five. These helpers is not going to get along. <sighs> they never going to get along. Y'all ain't trying as a group to try to bring these two helpers together. So it's just going to be a shit show. Barbados for to get blown wide. Barbados for to get blown wide open. Because they're for the put they for to tear the top end of roof off of that. Just wait and see. Now that Mariah there, Mariah already said in her confessional, she don't want me to go, but guess what? I'm going just to be messy. So it's going to be some shit. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night, and have a good weekend. Bye.